Millions of people crammed into Manila today to bear witness to Pope Francis' final mass at Rizal Park. Here's sights and sounds of the Pope as he wraps up his three-day trip to Asia's largest Catholic country. Pope Francis made his way through the streets of Manila in a new Pope mobile converted from the Philippine Jeepney. He arrived at Rizal Park amid a rain-drenched day to celebrate one of the largest outdoor masses in Philippine history. Yeah. Elated crowds greeted him as he quickly circulated through the throngs. Organizers say as many as six million people attended today. It would be a record compared with the five million here 20 years ago to witness a mass by Pope John Paul II. Many clutch images of the infant Jesus as today's mass coincides with a local Catholic feast day, the Santo Nino. Many faithful traveled afar and didn't let the rain dampen their spirits to hear the pontiff's message of hope for the downtrodden and destitute. I feel very excited. This, this is very beautiful and meaningful for me. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred instead. Francis also drew a huge crowd earlier today when he addressed those at a Catholic university in Manila. He nearly broke down in tears when hearing the stories of children who grew up poor on the streets. The saddest account came from 12-year-old Giselle Palomar. She spoke of children abandoned by their parents and end up in prostitution. Pope Francis admitted he had no answer, but urged them to show true compassion for others. He also visited the Vatican Embassy in Manila. That's where he offered his personal condolences to the father of a young girl who was killed while organizing the Pope's Mass in typhoon-hit Tacloban. Today's Mass concluded the Pope's six-day tour of Asia. Bearing witness to the pontiff was so meaningful, a national holiday was declared in the Philippines for the duration of his three-day visit. Sonia Artero, TVB News.